We're headed tuna fishing. Back at it. This is gonna be awesome. Fourth or fifth day? I don't even know what day it is. We've tried this so many times now. We're headed tuna fishing. We are headed tuna fishing. Didn't really plan on going tuna fishing today, but that's where we're going. It's 1.30 a.m. and we're headed out to go tuna fishing. It's 2.30 in the morning. We're going after a giant tuna fish. All right, we'll see you out there. If you're new to the channel, last year was my first year of tuna fishing. We hooked up multiple times, but we're not able to put a fish in the boat. We fought an absolute giant for two and a half hours, and we pulled the hook 15 feet from the boat. It was devastating. But that's just part of fishing. When you love to fish and you spend countless hours doing so, heartbreaking losses are not a matter of if, but a matter of when. After they occur, you have two choices. You can quit or keep trying. In the beginning of 2020, I set a goal of putting my first bluefin in the boat. Now 2020 is here. Let's go fishing. Okay, good morning. 2.30 a.m. July 29th. And we're going to get Tuna Redemption. Been waiting for this day since last year. It's been a long time coming. Last year was my first year tuna fishing and we lost a uh, giant right by the boat. We fought the thing for two and a half hours, soaked to the bone, boots full of water. It was rough out and it was a rough start. And ever since I lost that fish, I've been dying to catch one. Mainly Outdoors is coming along. You've seen him on the channel in the past. Uh, we're going to catch some halibut uh, and fly him out right on the boat, throw him right on the grill. So it's going to be the ultimate catch and cook. Anyway, I'm going to finish packing this stuff up. Uh, we'll see you at the boat. Let me get a big old tuna today. I can feel it. There's some bait in the harbor. We're going to try to catch it. I'm going to get the boat right now. Try to get a few squid before we leave. What are those? What the heck? I have no idea. Are those stripers? What are those, Jacob? They have a pretty big head. Come on. What are those? I don't know. Come on. Like that. Maybe is it a little striper? Come on. Oh, oh they're coming back, bud. What? What? <laughs> oh, hey. oh. oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hit him too! <laughs> <laughs> Send him flying. Oh, it's still right there. Oh, ain't he frisky? I oh, I oh, 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 Okay, so we've been fishing for a little bit now. Uh, I'm trying to catch some more bait. Kind of a waiting game now. It's a boring way to fish, uh, but when one of the rods goes off, it gets exciting real quick. It's pretty intense. Hopefully today we can finally put one in the boat. Uh, I'm gonna keep fishing for some bait for a little while, and after we get sick of this, we're gonna go haul the haul of hooks that we set this morning. Yeah, hopefully get a big old barn door. Uh, if we do, we're gonna cut a fillet off him. Um, and we're gonna lay it on the grill and cook it up, do a little catch and cook. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to bait fishing. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Mm. 
drive that maybe about two feet. How's it going up there? We got a good view? We got a good view. <laughs> That's what they need to do to that. All right, no luck at this spot. We are taking the anchor up right now. We're gonna go haul the hooks. Hopefully we can get a fish, uh, and then we're gonna go set up in a different spot. Hopefully get a tuna in spot number two. Uh, I'll see you there. Somebody commented on my last video and told me to get some of these Bubba Blade nine inch knives. They're like on sale on Amazon. So I got three of them and we're gonna try it out. Bad, right? For yeah. no spices. Good morning. We are all set out. We got some nice squid. We got probably a dozen. Slack tide just coming daylight. It is a beautiful chance. If there was ever a chance to catch a tuna fish, it's right here. We've seen heron on the surface, squid, there's a lot of feed. So we're gonna sit back, maybe catch a few more bait. And pretty soon we're gonna be screeching and hollering and hooping. We'll see you there. All right, Scott left his sweatshirt at home, so we're tuning him up a sweatshirt. I don't know whose blanket this is, but sorry, Keith. You're going to have a couple holes. There you go. <laughs> you <laughs> style it. <yeah. laughs> we'll button it together. <laughs> yeah, get a zip tie. We'll button it up. The flowers really make it. Oh, I'm not. 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 I
anymore. No. I wish he'd make a run. Yeah. It must be a shark hooked in the mouth. Because he would have bit it off by now. I guess you could have the harpoon ready, Scott, just in case. I don't know, it hasn't done anything. What kind of shark is that? A little mako, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a little mako. I, I can't believe he didn't snap that. He's hooked in the mouth. Look at that freaking thing. We just, um, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? Chill out, chill out. You're going back home, boy. Just chill out. See you later, little buddy. <laughs> that has got something big on a little Zebco 202. <laughs> he had some bait and he was reeling it up and he just hooked into something. Oh, you're, oh. Done. you're done, boy. You probably got a tuna on. There's our tuna. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. It must have been a shark. But it seems like a shark would have bit it off quicker than that. Right, you still got your weight or something, well, don't you? There's something left. That's that is so funny. Yeah, it's hotter than the bull dinker here. Yeah, just slack her off a little bit. Let it go fly on through. Weed. Yep. Why you weed? This is the only thing I've ever done that's more of a waste of time than deer. <laughs> <laughs> but the reward is very good. Yep. doesn't mean anything. Oh, he must be right oh, here. Oh. Look at that thing go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
screen on that rod. You can't, I mean, if, if it's scary if you try to stop it, the strain. Like, it actually feels like there's a four-wheeler on the end of it. <laughs> wow. A big fish. This is a big tuna fish. I like thought for sure it was a shark. That'd be nice to be about 85, 90 100 inches. 100 inches. That'd be awesome. Yeah. See that bigger one get tired easier. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, like <laughs> us. Just like us, Jay. They're senior citizens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally sounds like a guitar going right now. <laughs> Not a ton of reading. <laughs> Do not on. To the right. Go, go, go. Go. Keep going. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Good, good. Back up. Look, look, look. Whoa. It's a shark. Did you see the size of that thing? I did. What is it? That looked awful white. It was pretty white, but. Oh, that was really white. You got the harpoon ready? He's not far. Look at the white down there. See it? Yeah. Here comes the swivel. It's gotta be a big shark if it is. I don't know what it is. What is that? That's a tuna. That's a big tuna. Oh, that's a huge tuna. Go, go, go. Whoa. Go that thing is humongous. Oh, my oh, word. Look at the size of that tuna. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. No way. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Goes the gaff. One down. Yeah, do we do? We gotta get a rope through his gills down the college. Oh, <laughs> dear God. That is beauty. <laughs> wow. How big is that thing? Looks like 100 inches. Woo! 100 inches. We just caught a giant. I don't know, we were fishing for three or four hours. Hooked up, we only fought him for about an hour. I don't know how big it is. We're towing him, cooling him off right now. He is huge. Huge, 90 something inches. Check him out. All right, I didn't film much after this, so I'm gonna wrap it up with some pictures that Jesse and I took. I also wanna thank him for all the footage. We combined footage for this video. He's using some of mine, I'm using some of his, and he had a lot more than I did. I was busy on the rod and didn't get to film as much as I would like to, so he saved this video. All the fighting shots were from him. So go check out his channel, Mainly Outdoors. He made a video of this same day, and he's doing a catch and cook, actually. 
He took the heart home from this fish and he's gonna cook it up. We were actually gonna cut the whole fish up, but it was so much bigger than anything I expected to catch. From the tip of the tail to the tip of the jaw was 108 inches. And when that thing was in the water, I can't explain what it looked like. I really thought it was like a 15 foot great white shark. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a long time in the making. Um, I'll probably be going again this year. Hopefully get another one. But if not, got some Fallbrook trout fishing coming. And uh, some deer hunting. November's just around the corner. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast making it. I uh, will see you next time.